So let's go back to having a 4 4 time signature, which means that there are going to be four beats or four apples. Each apple is worth one crotchet, or each beat is worth one crotchet. So on the screen, I've got one, two, three, four. And if all I ever needed to do was count crotchets, that's all the information I need. But in order to count quavers, we need to divide the apples in half. And in this case as well, we need to divide the beat in half. There are lots of ways to, th lots of ways to think of how to divide the beat in half. But the way that I like best is to count by saying one and, two and, three and, four and. Where the one or the, the start of the beat is given the number, because we're on the first apple, it's beat number one. But if you're on the, the first half of that apple, we call it and. So it becomes a one and, two and, three and, four and. So what happens if we want to divide semiquavers? Well, this is where the counting gets a little bit trickier. Because in order to divide semiquavers, or in order to divide our beats into four, we need to have something to represent each subdivision or each quarter. And the way we do this is that we keep the one um, and we keep the and, but what really helps is to count it by going one e and r, two e and r, three e and r, four e and r. And if we clap these and keep a beat, it sounds like this. One e and r, two e and r, three e and r, four e and r. You may have noticed that at the beginning of each beat, each full apple, I'm actually clapping slightly louder and we call this an accent. That helps musicians hear where they are on the beat. So one E and R, two E and R, three E and R, four E and R. Now, let's start to combine all of this information together. So what happens when we get crotchets and quavers and semi-quavers and put them all together? Well, you might get a little piece of music like the one that's on the screen. So we've got a crotchet, followed by two quavers that have been joined together by a beam, followed by four semi-quavers that have also been joined together by not one, but two beams to represent that they're semi-quavers, followed by a crotchet. And underneath the counts, you've got like a little um, aqua-colored blob that kind of shows you how long each needs to go for. So if I were to count this, I go one e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a. Let me do that again for you. One e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a.